Now what we've got to do guys is turn the deck around because we've just put those pieces at the top of there and now it wants us to put 47H in these two holes just there. And so yeah, we're attaching these two pieces, 47Es. Again, tiny bit of glue guys. And just make sure when you put it onto the deck that they are facing uh, both the right way. Hey all, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Rich for free. Hope you're all doing good guys. Hope you're well. Today I'm building a Titanic from Ashit Partworks. If you're not already guys, please subscribe and like. Help support the channel. I would really appreciate that. And of course, comment down below and feel free to share the video. But without further ado guys, let's crack on with the Titanic build from Ashit Partworks. davits last week on the port side as you can see here of course check out that video from last week guys it's in the playlist we also applied a little bench which these little things guys are making this build pop we also fit the winch which you can just see just there and at the end of the video guys also we built two more lifeboats which were pretty simple but pretty cool so yeah guys if you want to check out that full video take a look for the playlist for the titanic build and you will you will find that on my channel but yeah without further ado guys i'll get the magazine let's crack on with this week's issue yep yeah, so here we have guys issue 47 of the titanic build from ashley Parkworks, and here we have the parts and the magazine so without further ado guys let's crack on and get this mag open First of all, we'll have a quick browse through this week's mag. And here at the bottom left, you can see next week coming in issue 48, we've got the LED strip, forward staircase, forward staircase wall, wheelhouse, bulkhead, more LED cable, corner joints and screws. Yeah, we're getting a lot of little parts now, guys, which is making this build pop. And as we go through this week's mag, some beautiful pictures there of the ships. And then we get straight into the instructions and basically it looks like this week we're doing deck over the first class lounge and a lot of little fittings extras like the vents and the coals, etc. Let's just have a look how many instructions we've got here. Not too many today, guys. Seven instructions and that's gonna be our finished result. So yeah, let's take a look what we've got in this week's box of goodies. And guys, do bear with me if you, you, you've got a thing about dirty nails. I do apologise, I've been doing what this next project, this other content is coming to the channel soon. That's where I've been till now. I'm saying no more, it's going to be a surprise. But that might be a bit of a hint for you if you've got any ideas, comment down below. But yeah, that's why my hands are a bit dirty. I've tried to wash them for you guys, but they're still a bit dirty. But yeah, I'll have a shower after this video. I oh, know I don't need to go into that, but anyway, just thought I'd let you know there. I'm not dirty, guys. It's just that's been one of those busy weeks this week. All right, so first of all, this is what they're coming, guys. Lovely packed in an envelope. Let's uh, check as usual. All that's empty. I thought this was stuck on, but no, it's not. And do you know what I'm going to do this week, guys? I might try and stick this without any glue and see if it sticks. But that's the, the decking. Just be careful with this, guys, when you open it, because it does sometimes snap. So I'll put that to one side, and this is the deck. It's plastic. And 
I've got all the little features, all the little parts, vents and cowling, or cowls, just here. So, same as last week, guys, what I'll do, we'll just get straight into this video, and then I can explain what parts we've got as we go along. So, let's get into the first instruction. Here we go. Yeah, and instruction one, it's telling us to remove the protective film from this foil here. Let's go up to this. So yeah, what we've got to do is take this protective film. Like so. And then get 47K, which is the deck over the first class lounge. And what it's telling us to do is, I'm going to have decking keeps coming with us here, we don't want that yet. Apply this to 47k. So, what we're going to do is turn it upside down, and it's asking us to apply it around about there. So, then apply it into the inside of the roof of the first class lounge 47k in the position indicated, the red circle. So, yeah, guys, where you've got this rectangle here, it's just going to go to the right of that. You can use tweezers, obviously, to put this on if you want. But I'm not doing that. Make sure that's even its side. And nicely, firmly rub that on to the decking, 47k. Don't know whether that's going to have something to do with the lighting, maybe. So that's instruction one done. Now instruction two, what we're gonna do now guys is apply this 47A, which is the decking, over the first class lounge on there. So first of all, we'll do a dry fit, make sure it fits, which we know it does because it was on there when we got it out of the, the box. So yeah, so it's gonna look. And now guys, here goes nothing. Is this going to stick today without any issues? If you've seen last week's video, guys, I said that these decking strips have put more adhesive on it, it seems. I hope. <laughs> but let's see if I've tempted fate. Fingers crossed, guys. Let's see if this goes on without any glue. I really hope so. So, yeah, it's just as simple as dropping into place as long as all your holes are on show it's in line with the out of the deck you can't really go wrong and it seems to have stuck all right to be fair let's make sure that's all around the corners i won't worry if you're a bit off on the holes because they will go in you can push them in but yeah that's how that's looking guys and it seems, dare I say it, to have stuck pretty well, pretty cool. The only thing what was maybe that putting glues over time, if you, with the heat or whatever, or cold, wherever the, the model is, they might unstick. That's the only thing I'm worried about. But as you can see, guys, that is pretty flat and stuck. So yeah, that's instruction two done. Next of all, guys, instruction three, we've got to take 47i and 47j, which are these two pieces here, and then we've got to attach those to the decking. As you can see here, you've got two circles, red circles, two there and two there. Now, on the left-hand side, we want 47j, which is going to be, let's just double-check this. It's slightly different, as you can see. As you can see there, that is bigger than that one. So 47J is going to be the longer triangular shape. So what we do, put a bit of glue on guys. And the way it wants it on to the decking is 47J, it's got to be facing the triangular towards the back. So, push that into place like so. And I 
சட்டம் secondly we're going to be there 47 i attaching 47 i bit of glue and then you want the triangular bracing towards the ship if that makes sense inside the decking and that should be your finished result at the end of instruction three and if we just turn that around there you can see that one, the triangular shape on that vent is facing towards the camera and the other one is facing down the deck and that's how that looks. And that is it for instruction three. Now instruction four, we are applying the vents, these three vents. And I've put them in that order guys because the way the instructions are saying we're going from that way from the left to the right. So we'll place that down there in a second, put just to one side. And what we're gonna do is just glue these tips. Yeah, and the eagle eye views out there, you know I still haven't got any glue yet. <laughs> I just haven't had time to go down to where I get my glue from. But I'm hoping to get some tomorrow. The day after doing this this video. Right, so this is 47F, and if you look at the top diagram there, it's showing you to apply like that. So you can only do it one way, guys, because you've got a big end and a little pin to go into the bigger hole and the smaller hole. So you can see there, you've got a big and small hole. The big pin goes in the big hole, and the small pin goes in the smaller hole. And that is that bit done. How effective does that look guys? Pretty cool. And then secondly, we want 47H, which as you can see here guys, it's not that one, because that's got a triangular diagonal part. It's gonna be this one. Just double check what you're doing guys, you can't go wrong. So I've put a bit of glue on that. Now what we've got to do guys is turn the deck around because we've just put those pieces at the top of there and now it wants us to put 47H in these two holes just there and that way around as you can see you've got the big pin scope in the big hole etc and the smaller one in the smaller hole. There you go just like that and that's that piece fitted. And then last of all for instruction four, we've got to apply 47H. And these are diagonal, these pins are guys, as you can see. But again, do what it's telling you. Apply the big pin to the little, to the big hole, sorry, and the little pin to the little hole. You can't go wrong, and that's how done. And that's how we're looking so far. As you can see here in the diagram, if I put this, model next to it it looks exactly the same guys you've got that piece where it should be that piece all the cowls and the vents that piece and you got that piece with the vent bearing over and then you got 47g which is also the right way around there vents if i do apologize if i call them a cowl vents <laughs> There you go, and that is up to instruction four, all done. And so far guys, that is up to instruction four done, but as if by magic, I've been to the shops today guys, yeah, it's the next day from the first half of this video, and I've gone and got me some glue from my local hardware store, which in the UK is called The Range. Yep, so now I'm all stocked up with my glue guys, so hopefully I won't get in this predicament where the glue ends up like that. So that is going straight in the bin. And I've brought three packs of these guys and those are a pound for two, two in a pack. So that's three quid for six um, bottles of glue, basically tubes of glue. Pretty good buy that. But yeah, that's enough about the glue. Let's crack on with this build. 
Now we're on instruction five, where we're taking the curls A, B and C, 47B, 47C and 47D, which are these at the top of the screen. And we're gonna apply those to the decking, as you can see by these diagrams. So yeah, first of all, we're taking 47B, which is that part there, guys. And we're gonna apply a bit of glue to that. Yeah, I had to turn the video last night, guys. I just couldn't get no more glue out of that tube I'd got. And I was worried. I was applying these pieces, the vents, to the model, and they just wasn't going to stick. And I was going to have issues later down the line. But never mind. Um, right, 47B. So, yeah, we want to apply that to the big pin, into the big hole. And just the little pin into the little hole and you heard that click that's how that looks guys so yeah that's how i'm done 47b and then we need to take not in this order you don't have to but on this diagram we've got 47d which is going to be let me just double check looking at that diagram there guys is this one here so yeah this is 47d and this is going to be going into these holes just there so again, take a bit of glue, just a tad of glue guys, remember you can use a cocktail stick if you want to put a little bit of glue in a, a tub or something, a little tray, and then do it that way, but I'm, I'm choosing to use, just use the glue straight out of the tube, so I'll double check guys for you, make sure it sticks in, but that's how that looks. I love how it's popping guys with these little pieces, the vents. Right, finally, we want 47C, which is this part here. Well, I say fine, finally for instruction five anyway. So again, apply a bit of glue. You've got a big peg, pin, and a small one. And what we're gonna do is attach that to these two holes here. Again, guys, big pin into the big hole and little pin into the little hole. There you go. That's that done. Look at that, guys. How effective is that? And I think if you wanted to, you could weather all this if you wanted to. I'm not sure if anyone out there has done that. But I'm sure you could weather all these parts if you really wanted to. But I'm not doing that. I'm just going to keep on white. And here you can see little windows. And I would have thought those are going to have lights and be lit up later down the line now to instruction six then guys what we're doing now is next fit the two coals so we're fitting these two coals next and these are identical guys these are the same as you can see they're both exactly the same but we're putting them in two different places you can see the bottom of the diagram we're putting 47e to there and then there's another 47e go into these two holes here. I was just looking then, I was hoping that decking wasn't coming up. That's what I'm worried about now, because I've not glued it, but I think it's okay. Yeah, we're attaching these two pieces, 47 E's. Again, tiny bit of glue, guys, and just make sure when you put it onto the deck that they are facing uh, both the right way. So this one has got to be facing towards you as you're pulling it in. But again, you've got the big pin, little pin, guys, so you can't go wrong. Big pin into big hole, little pin into little. So that's how that looks. And then finally for instruction six, we want to take 47 e again. I've got to get some grease or something for this chair I'm sitting on because it's very creaky. <laughs> I'm sure you can hear it. Sorry, guys. So yeah, face it the right way, guys, and then big pin into big hole, little pin into little hole. There you go. Just make sure that's in. I'm wondering whether to see if that's going to peel up and then stick it with some glue, you know. The rest of it looks all right. It's that bit what's bothering, bothering me. I'm worried if I pick it up. It's gonna, I think that's going to be fine. That's fine. But yeah, guys, up to instruction six, that's all done. Looking good. Now we're looking at instruction seven. Uh, all the cowls and the vents are now fitted and glued to this deck. 
so that's that done now instruction seven it's saying take the boat deck from the previous issue and check how the roof of the first class lounge 47k which is this part you guys fits at the aft end of the assembly which is here on the diagram guys carefully turn the assembly over and rest it on something soft such as a towel to avoid yeah so basically guys we're going to stick this onto the deck and we did it previously and um, we're going to screw it together with some ap screws two four six ap screws but what it's saying is if you turn it upside down get something soft to put it on i'm going to try holding it upside down to be fair and we'll we'll attach it that way this is the deck we've been working on in previous issues with the davits and the bench and the winch etc and all these little parts at the other end but what we're doing today guys is attaching the part we've got today at this end of the deck so if i just turn that around and if i just put that at the bottom of your screen you should be able to see the diagram at the top and what we're working on here so you can see how the the white bit what's left with no decking is situated and what it's telling us to do then is basically apply this that way around like so and that is a perfect fit I'll just show you that closer up you can see where your steps etc are all in line with the piece we've put on today which looks pretty cool it's like guys i'm trying to get it in shot it's a bit odd how big this thing is look at that it's even off, off shot now it's just about on screen <laughs> and that is nowhere near halfway done yet so what i've got to do now guys is get some ap screws and attach these two pieces together so what i'm going to do this time is gently hold it by hand and screw it in together and guys it's not telling you to do this so be careful if you're using it freehand or attaching it freehand should i say if you don't damage it it does, does recommend you turn it upside down and put it on a cloth but i'm choosing to hold it as long as you're careful you should be okay so yeah we're just putting the second ap screw in So yeah, I'll turn it upside down. You can see we've put two AP screws in there. And on the diagram, that's the two we put in. And then you've got two diagonal ones going in there, which we're doing next. As long as you put it down the right way, guys, until you put the screw in, you should be fine. Just, I wouldn't leave it upside down resting if I was you. Because you are going to damage something. I don't think you'd be too happy if that happens. I know I wouldn't be. Yeah, that's the third AP screw in. Just get the fourth. Yeah, I'll keep saying this. I'm hoping within the next month. Again, guys, subscribe if you want to see the new studio soon. Um, I should be getting this studio sorted. I know I've said it for a long time now. I'm just trying to hold that guys without damaging anything on top. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping in the next four or six weeks. I should be getting the studio done in here, getting some sort of makeshift studio. <laughs> I'm going to call it a studio, I hope it'll look like a studio. But anyway, we've put one, two, three, four, four screws in, AP screws, and now we've got two more to put in, which are going to be these two holes here. So yeah, put this one in here. Yeah, but guys, I can't be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? tell you as much I can tell you to be careful because these things here these davits will break and this little part here did just come off as I had it upside down but I've managed to glue it back on it's all fine as you can see but just do be very careful guys when you're doing this because you've got a lot of delicate little parts and you do not want to damage them when it was left to me I would have preferred, but then I suppose it wouldn't have been doable. I'm not sure that looking into it, but I'd prefer this to be attached before putting the parts on, to be fair, because you've always got the stress of damaging the, the parts on the top. But as you can see there, guys, all the screws are now in, and that is it for this week's issue. We've done the cowls, vents, and 
the deck over the first class lounge and the roof has been fixed into place on the boat deck. That's how that looks. Pretty cool guys. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, share. Look to see you in the next one. But for now, see ya. Peace. That is it for this week's build of the Titanic from Ashup Parkworks. I do hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, please remember to give us a subscribe, a big like, and comment and share. We'd really appreciate that. Basically, this week, what we've been doing is a little fun issue. What we've done this week is attached um, the curls and the vent, and we've also fixed into place the roof on the deck. Do hope you enjoyed, guys. Come back next week for more. See ya. Peace.